is it working okay hi guys and welcome back to some more uh democracy four over here so uh yeah the recording is working we're back to this game last time we played as japan the new country that has been added and we failed uh quite quite badly actually and uh you know what can i say i mean uh the debt crisis is pretty bad it's very funny because technically uh you know the um, the author talked about it like he used real life data for uh, making the economics and it's just uh, that japan works in such a different ways that you know using the simulate the in-game simulation it would get into a debt crisis in like two or three quarters but this doesn't happen in real life because apparently um japan is way better at bar borrowing money so yeah, I tried a few attempts in which I tried to do something to solve that deficit, but every time I did that, even with the most insane austerity measures, I just ended up sinking the country and barely getting like the most minuscule surplus. So this time I'm gonna go ahead and play again and we're gonna play completely different. We're gonna go... We're gonna ignore the debt crisis and go... Money printer goes brr, basically. The, the property rights party. Oh, this is just... This is too funny, man. You cannot come up with this. The eternal freedom party. Right. Revolutionary capitalists. Ah, okay. The socialist revolutionary party. Okay, that's that's good enough. Um, I could have put in the color red for me. But uh, yeah, basically we're just going to ignore the giant debt debt and the even giant -er deficit. It's going to trigger the debt crisis, which is going to be bad. But we're going to deal with it in our own way. We're going to we're going to make people happy by just subsidizing and we're just never going to care about that. That's that's uh, that's the strategy. So, let's go on right to it with um, our game over here. Most of the things are going to be pretty similar like last time. Not there are many things that don't really um, uh, matter all that much. This is obviously very good to have. Yeah, apparently it is. it is also true. Apparently... The Japanese do have some pretty, um, like, uh, economically pro-worker sort of, like, measures, like the maternity leave is very good. I guess you can kind of, like, say that it's their way of encouraging population growth and not really a pro-worker kind of thing. Um, yeah, we're gonna... Um, allow visits for um, that guy but yeah and competitive economy is gonna be a thing so yeah we're not gonna bother with raising taxes or doing any weird things like that maybe we'll do it in the future but we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna we you see that deficit that that thing is gonna get insane just wait <laughs> just you wait uh yeah we can do family planning even though the technically don't really need that keep the country tidy campaign and this should trigger the debt crisis yeah happens uh yeah that's fine so and everybody is like fucking pissed off right now don't care don't even worry about it we did that um suppose i'm not sure how you're gonna make make it work but yeah uh we can do these easy ones like tourism ad campaign tourism ad campaign uh trade council we can get rid of the alcohol awareness campaign we got the emergency power so this is gonna give us a lot more points each turn all right and uh, we can like reduce the alcohol law to minimum way age the minimum age of the alcohol law that's what i meant we can 
cyberbullying campaign. Good to have. Public tax returns. Uh, we can do the ban even though that's not really that much of an issue in Japan. I guess it's good to have. Multinational tax evasion. That we can get rid of. We can implement tax to get rid of that. Gonna keep the ban on whaling. That is like the diverted profit tax. It's gonna give us a little bit of money. Um, apparently they have synthetic meat research grants already, so that's pretty pretty fancy. Food stamps. Um, drug treatment scheme. We're gonna need that for the eventual moment when we legalize drugs, which is a very contentious thing in Japan. Like, it is not... Um, saw a video about it. It's like very interesting how um, they went for this prohibition basically in their attempt to like westernize after the American model. Um, yeah, we're gonna criticize the monarch. We're gonna try and do one of these media stunts. You appear like a strong leader. Even though I don't really care too much about that. Uh, legal aid can go to the maximum. Prostitution is already... Is it legal in Japan or is it like... I, I'm assuming it must be at least decriminalized. Because I, I hear it's kind of present. All right, that's all the points. So yeah, we're still very much unpopular, but we're gonna get to it. Uh, oh yeah, organ donation. That's not for us. That is pretty good. Uh, we can also do diplomatic service. We can also get rid of foreign tax breaks expensive. We can also get rid of the marriage allowance. Um... Oh yeah, university grants. That's one of the things that they don't have and it's causing the, the skill shortage. We're gonna uh, implement that in just a bit. I guess we can do it next turn. Delivery drones. Limited trials, maybe. We got rid of that. Crime is going down. Unemployment is pretty high. Okay. Uh, where was that? Would it be welfare? No. Public, it must be public services. University grants. There you go. Helps with generational wealth gap, too. Huh. Interesting. Uh, needle exchange program, might as well have it. Carpooling. Bicycle subsidies. Safeguard of supplies. Uh, we're not gonna care about that. Teacher strike, we can invest massively into education and healthcare is gonna be next next up on the list compulsory foreign language classes teacher shortage oh we got it because yeah, the university grants means more people are going into university and we don't have enough i i see what happened yeah it makes sense uh, it's gonna go down, but yeah, should have should have thought about that to prevent it. Can do this. We can do that. Technology colleges. Technology colleges no longer make socialists unhappy. That's new. Um, we can we have to do the green electronics initiative to prevent the rare earth metal crisis. Got rid of. Skill shortage, we're not gonna ban e-scooters, no fucking way. Uh, 
Uh, how we're doing? I wonder how's alcohol consumption. It should be over here. It is not really that impressive. Oh, really not much of a point into raising taxes for it. Youth Politics Club just makes the kids happy. Eating healthy campaign. People smuggling. We're gonna allow them to stay. Budget report. It's fucking all over the place. But yeah, our popularity is slowly going up. So we are gonna we are gonna get to it. Uh, small business grants. There you go. We can also do the enterprise investment scheme. It does the same thing, pretty much. Um, three eye tests. Nobel Peace Prize. One of our cabinet ministers is unhappy. I don't really care. So yeah, it's gonna get insane. And look at that, the debt interest is already a third of our expenditure and the government borrowing is a third of our income, but so it doesn't seem to go anywhere. This is why it's like so weird. Um, jury trial. What we can do is we can get rid of the police drones now. And we could increase the... Ba -ba -ba. Increase speed cameras, I guess. Intelligence service. Yeah, that's the stuff. Streamer offers birthday song. Sure. Gambling, we can increase that. Just at the limit here. <clears throat> Micro generation grants. Cycling campaign. And we're doing it. Pollution controls. Foreign presidential visit. Yeah, we're gonna turn that one down. Music is going good, so I guess we're doing fine. State health service. Boom. That's gonna be... Strong. <clears throat> what else do we have here? Ah, adult education subsidies. We can increase that. Already got rid of skill shortage, so... Hmm, uncompetitive economy. Uh, I mean... Could reduce the corporation tax to get rid of this and then bring it back it's gonna be annoying corporation exodus is almost out so yeah we could do that scientific breakthrough I'm gonna do like like this, and then we'll probably put it back in the middle. Hmm. Healthy food subsidies. Need to keep some points for the rare earth metal mining. Private space industry. Uh, yeah, we can do this. Um. What was it again? Oh yeah. Rare earth metal mining. There it is. Oof. It's gonna be a little bit painful. Compulsory water meters. Yeah, we can do that. And yeah, look at that. Our popularity is already above average. And yeah, that's gonna be nasty. But we have the campaign speeches. Just in time. There's only 2% of 
poor people. Hmm. Uh uh, that didn't really work out. Uh oh, ooh. Okay, there you go. Woo! Finally, that worked. Okay, economy, huh? Parents and liberal. Boom. Rural development grants. It's gonna make the farmers happy. Cynical voters, yeah. He knows it. Oh, we got rid of corporate exodus. Also got a disease eradicated. And yeah, campaign speeches. Let's see what we can do here. Liberals. State employees and parents. Our deficit is huge. Our debt has almost doubled. <laughs> All right. Uh, stamped out racism week. What else can we do here? Could get rid of quantitative easing. That inflation. Woo! Hmm. <clears throat> We'll also get rid of oil drilling. Yeah, we don't really need it anymore. Alright, last turn before the election. One more round of speeches. The liberals. Uh, trade unionists and parents. It's pretty close, actually. The election is gonna be way closer than I would like it. We're gonna have to rely on the manifesto. Uh, we can cut armed police, sure. We can cut the prison regime, definitely. And... Yeah, the firearms law as well. Okay, I think we can do right before the election. I don't think there's anything they can do that can make people generally happy. Clean fuel subsidies. Yeah, that could work, actually. Hmm. Electric cars initiative. Ban gas powered cars. Whoa, really? That is pretty, pretty solid. All right, let's see. It should work. It's gonna be close. Uh, uh. It, it, the vote is split, so that works in our favor. So yeah, we're just gonna keep on going like this. So who doesn't want us? Oh yeah, this guy, this guy. Yeah, this guy and this guy, I can go. Hmm. Poor and commuters and for transport. Uh, socialist and state employee. Alright. Got rid of the doctor strike. Can ban non-lead things. Alright. Campaign manifesto. Here we go. Prison regime. Gentle. Firearms law. We're gonna... Remove that a little bit more. I don't understand why they say cynical voters for these ones. Because I'm literally doing the manifesto. Like they should remove that for that one. Um. Anyway. As I was saying. 
God, this is annoying to do. So expensive. All right. Pa 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 pa. <laughs> We could, yeah, biofuel subsidies, that's what I was looking for. We can increase that. We're gonna support the public land law. Farmers are not gonna be very happy, but we have just the thing to make the farmers happy. Organic farming subsidies, boom. Uh, what else? Climate change adaptation fund, very expensive, gotta do it. Got rid of the teacher shortage, can reform the secret service. 44,000 trillion deficit. Uh, for, 44 trillion, not 44,000 trillion. Uh, I mean, really, at this point, it's just numbers. Like, it's not gonna matter anymore, really. And yeah, look at that government borrowing, it's more than half, Whew. and it's still going. Foreign neighbor nuclear test, yeah, whatever. Stem cell research, oh, that was more expensive than I thought. Uh, what else did I promise in the manifesto? Oh yeah, I still need to do that, and to cut the armed police. I'm literally uh, arming the population and disarming the police, aren't I? Oh, that's just too funny. Yeah, we're gonna allow GM crops. They're good! Shut up! Yeah, license required seems to be the most reasonable kind. I'm gonna cut the detention without trial to just 72 hours. And nation secretary general, wonderful. We can remove the death penalty. Um, propose the Freedom Act. We can legalize gay marriage. We're gonna prevent the DNA database. We can also start legalizing drugs. Hmm. I think that's good enough. Our popularity went down a bit. Hey, political relationship. Oh, there you go, it's back up. Internet crime going down. It's very hard to get rid of. Huh? Space program. Boom. Trade agreement. We're gonna refuse to sign it. But we're gonna do Mars program. The first base on Mars. Gonna ban face recognition in public. Uh, we're gonna allow gender transitioning. We're doing very good. Ignoring this. Like just 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 ignore it. Nothing to see there. We can raise the state pensions, we can raise the state housing, we can uh, raise the synthetic meat research grants, I don't see why not. Social care is already pretty high, we can raise it to maximum. And sure, disability benefit can also be up there. Uh, we're not gonna change animal testing, it's gonna make us look uncompassionate, incompassionate. Hmm. Echo home regulations. Bus subsidies. Yes. 
Yeah, we can expand the rights of ways. Um, we can expand the national high-speed monorail service. Subsidize school buses. Congestion charging. Yeah. Undermined. Huh. Undercut by a foreign competitor. Well, technically we can use import tariffs to deal with that, but we aren't gonna... We aren't gonna do that. Worker on boards. You know I gotta do this, right? Uh, proportional fines. Airport connection, buses, obviously. And campaign speeches are available, but we're not gonna need them. We're doing just spectacular already. And it doesn't look like anything is gonna break us at this point. Free bus passes. It does increase the generational wealth gap. Oh, are you serious? Oh, it's just funny. Bureaucracy, really? Too many laws, huh? Yeah, I guess we did implement a lot of laws. But they are necessary. All of them. Just expand the bureaucracy. I don't... Uh, how have we still not gotten rid of uncompetitive economy? What? Oh, the productivity going down. Why is the productivity going down so bad? Uh, high speed that should increase it. I guess the... Legal drug consumption, a little bit. The maternity leave, a little bit. The retirement age. Wages. Wages are so... Wages... Well, the wages are high and apparently it, like, reduces productivity. That doesn't make sense. High wages should increase productivity. Cynical voter. Yeah, it was the bad timing for that. Hey, manifesto again. Uh, sure, we can cut the executive term limit. They want us to uh, legalize drugs even further and cut the alcohol law even further. You know what? I I I can I can respect that. Fuck it, we're gonna do it. How's the legal drug consumption? Woo! It's time for that uh, recreational drug tax, huh? We're gonna make trillions out of it. Oh, it's brilliant. It's undercutting the... Yeah, look at that. It undercut the alcohol consumption like crazy. And yeah, it's not even a contest. We're gonna win decisively. The United Right has nothing against us. Yeah, this guy is not... Uh, we're gonna keep them for now, but... Yeah, we can attend gay wedding. Junk food tax. Well, fucking deal with it. <laughs> Capital control. Hmm. Can cap the CO pay multiplier, but our we already have a competitive economy. We're trying to do something to get rid of that universal basic income. Oh, you know it. 
Oh, look at that cost. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's huge. Oh, well, we're no longer gonna need charity. Bye bye. Hey, it's the carbon tax is now actually doing something. Uh, how's the environment, actually? That's industrial automation. Where even is the environment? Is it... This is stability. I think we are pretty stable. Average temperature. It actually went down. Wow. That's how good our things were. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, the GDP increase really brought down the environment. But we are doing a lot of things to, like... Um... Improve it. Hybrid cars initiative. We can raise that. Forgot about that. Uh, power lines. Yeah, we're gonna build them. International fusion research. Oof, look at that. Oil demand going down. Boom. All right, and yeah, I, we, I guess we can keep playing indefinitely at this point. Doesn't look like there's much that there can happen that can, you know, stop us. We can do this, we can implement jury trial. Foreign firm, well, we can allow it. Look at the universal basic income. Really cutting down on poverty. How much money do people have? Like... If I go look at... Not this. Maybe... Middle income... Uh, where do I see this? Disposable income, there you go. Like, fucking everyone is just wealthy. Oh, it's insane. Because they're receiving, like, disability benefits, free bus pass, amazing pension, and private pension, and social care. Uh, he's benefiting from the Enterprise Investment Scheme and the Small Business Grants. All the... Uh, environmentalist, he's part of environmentalist, so he's benefiting from all that. Um, she's a state employee, so she's also benefiting from that. Oh, this is just brilliant. Alright, let's not forget about our manifesto. Alcohol law, it can go to 16. Uh, narcotics, legalize heroin. If this doesn't get us to fucking condemn far left, far left dictator. Yeah, we're gonna do it. It's a dictator, it's a dictator. You gotta have to be condemned. Uh... Anything else we can do here? Like, I guess, human cloning makes the wealthy really happy. Alright, territory repatriated. Hmm. I don't know why they're unhappy. We're doing amazing. Driverless car laws. State airline. Don't need that. Look at that deficit. Oh boy. <laughs> Just print more money. That's the solution. You heard it here, folks. And, like, there's no way to ever get rid of that at this point. Like, what can you even do? Hey, driverless cars have 
instantly become a reality. Makes commuters happy. Reduces healthcare demand. Because there's fewer drivers and therefore fewer accidents. That's fun. Youth club subsidies. Still haven't gotten rid of this, huh? Yeah, uh, it's hard. If we hadn't had it, then we could have not triggered it. But without this, like, we would need to implement internet censorship and then get rid of it, basically. That's what would have to happen. <laughs> Drug consumption. Alright, what else did we say that we would do? The executive term limit. Oh, here it is. Yeah, we can attend play. And that's the executive term length. Term limit. Four terms. That's fine. <sighs> no, not, not, not much else. Not much else to do here. Things are pretty good. We can just sail and blow to the points. Hey, journalist released. Parents and capitalist. Yeah, we can allow shared maternity leave. Why is the economy going to shit? It must be the global economy. Yeah. Yikes. That's a big oof. How much we can do about it, though? We already reduced... Uh, the taxes. And have a lot of... Things pro... Business. Mandatory microchip implants. Oh boy. Ban homosexuality. I wonder if this is... Yeah, it's conflicting policy. There you go. Uh, good. Good, good, good. Pouring aid. We can raise that. Hopefully it will help the global economy. Yeah, we can rewrite the textbooks. Economy is bad, we don't care, we are just bloating. Hmm. Now we're not gonna lay wrath. Um, can allow. Internet tracking, but warn users, just like the GDPR. Hey, Pan-Continental Union. So we got the, basically, an European Union in Asia, the Asian Union. Doesn't slip off the tongue as well. Gender-neutral bathrooms, yeah, we can require them. There was a quote from Donald Trump, I missed that. Don't order me around, or would you rather that I declare martial law? Ugh, that fucking guy. Yeah, we're gonna support the protest. The economy is going right back up. Debt is increasing. We don't care. What the fuck do you want? Where are the parents? Parents are happy. What the fuck? Complacency. Yeah, that's gonna be a thing. That's uh, that's gonna make it harder and harder to uh, go. Ooh, Ludite Riots. Huh. Low skill jobs. That's... Interesting. But we have worker on boards. That shouldn't happen. Hmm. 
Yeah, we can ban that. We can do automation tax to get rid of the Ludite riots. Oh, it will affect the driverless cars hugely. Let's see how much it dips. Intergalactic socialism. We got a new achievement. Not only to the but also on your plans to explore to the stars. Huh. Yeah, yeah, that's... Oh, it's not gonna stop, actually, because the stop trigger is at the zero. We just needed to implement it. Do we need any manifesto promises? Oh, really? We can raise freedom of press, sure, whatever. And another decisive victory. At least we're no longer winning winning at a hundred percent, so they balanced it a little bit, but yeah. 89% majority. And new sir are off. But we're gonna end it anyway. So uh yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure you have a like, subscribe to see more. And apparently, the best way to play this game is to just never look at the money part. Just, yeah, whatever. It's a thing. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure you like, subscribe to see more. And I'll see you next time. We're going to make it yeah, stopped working. Bye-bye.